It's over forever. Janelle Brown's secret boyfriend revealed. Sister Wives Season 19. Janelle Brown, known for her involvement in the reality TV show Sister Wives, has recently made headlines with the revelation of her secret boyfriend. While some may find this news surprising, it's essential to understand the context of Janelle's life post-divorce from Cody Brown. Following her separation from Cody, Janelle finds herself in a new chapter of life, where companionship and support are vital. The dissolution of her marriage highlights the importance of having a partner who understands and fulfills one's emotional needs. In the tumultuous journey of multiple marriages, Cody Brown's choices have often overshadowed the happiness and well-being of his spouses. The departure of several wives, save for Robin, underscores the significance of mutual respect and consideration in relationships. Amidst the upheaval, Janelle's revelation emphasizes the human desire for companionship and the pursuit of happiness. Loneliness can indeed be a profound and distressing experience, making the presence of a supportive partner all the more valuable. As Janelle embarks on this new phase of her life, her decision to pursue love and companionship serves as a reminder of the importance of prioritizing personal happiness and fulfillment. It's a testament to resilience and the courage to embrace new beginnings. In conclusion, Janelle Brown's disclosure of her secret boyfriend marks a significant step towards personal happiness and fulfillment after a period of transition. It underscores the universal need for companionship and support, resonating with individuals navigating their own journeys of love and self-discovery. Following the tragic death of Garrison Brown, son of Sister Wives star Janelle Brown, new details have emerged from the police report, shedding light on his struggles with alcohol abuse and depression. Garrison, aged 25, was found deceased by his brother Gabriel, prompting an investigation into the circumstances surrounding his passing. According to reports by In Touch, Garrison's roommates disclosed that he had been grappling with alcohol abuse, labeling him as an alcoholic who routinely consumed alcohol every night. Alongside this battle, he was also contending with depression, adding layers of complexity to his already challenging situation. Despite his ongoing struggles, Garrison never explicitly conveyed any intentions of self-harm to his roommates during their conversations about his difficulties. This lack of disclosure left those close to him blindsided by the tragic turn of events. In the wake of her son's untimely death, Janelle Brown expressed profound regret, acknowledging that she wished she had done more to support him. According to the police report, Janelle lamented that she could have provided greater assistance to Garrison in the past, underscoring the weight of her remorse over what transpired. The revelation of Garrison's struggles with alcohol abuse and depression serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by individuals battling mental health issues. Despite outward appearances, the internal turmoil experienced by those grappling with such issues can often go unnoticed or unacknowledged until it's too late. Janelle Brown's heartfelt admission reflects the anguish experienced by many loved ones who find themselves grappling with feelings of guilt and helplessness in the aftermath of a tragedy. In the face of such circumstances, it's natural to reflect on what could have been done differently and to harbor a sense of remorse over perceived missed opportunities to intervene. However, it's crucial to recognize that navigating the complexities of mental health and addiction can be incredibly challenging, even for those closest to the individual in question. Despite their best efforts, loved ones may find themselves at a loss for how to provide effective support or intervention. In light of this, it's essential to foster open and honest communication surrounding mental health issues, creating an environment where individuals feel safe to seek help without fear of judgment or stigma. Additionally, access to comprehensive mental health resources and support services is paramount in ensuring that individuals facing such challenges receive the assistance they need. As Janelle Brown grapples with her grief and regret, her willingness to speak candidly about her son's struggles serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of destigmatizing discussions around mental health. By fostering empathy, understanding, and support, we can work towards preventing similar tragedies and ensuring that those in need receive the care and assistance they deserve. In the wake of this heartbreaking loss, may Garrison Brown be remembered not solely for his struggles, 
but for the light he brought into the lives of those who knew and loved him. And may his story serve as a catalyst for greater awareness, compassion, and action in the ongoing fight for mental health advocacy. Janelle Brown recently shared a poignant memory on Instagram, reflecting on the last Christmas she spent with all her children together. In her post, she expressed gratitude for the rare occasion, acknowledging the challenges of coordinating such gatherings amidst their busy lives. She emphasized the significance of capturing those moments in photographs, cherishing them now more than ever. However, amidst this touching recollection, there's also a somber undertone revealed in the same police report. The tragic final text messages of Garrison Brown, Janelle's son, shed light on the complexities of his emotional state. According to reports from TMZ, these messages ultimately led Janelle to ask one of Garrison's brothers to check on him at his home in Flagstaff, Arizona. Tragically, by the time his brother arrived, Garrison had passed away. Garrison's text messages, particularly one addressed to a group of people he and his family worked with, unveil a deep sense of longing and melancholy. In his message, he expressed conflicting emotions, unable to harbor resentment despite the pain of reminiscing about happier times. His words poignantly conveyed a sense of yearning for days gone by. Upon learning of Garrison's distressing message, Janelle reached out to him directly. Their conversation, as described to the police, was brief before Garrison ceased responding. Concerned for her son's well-being, Janelle then turned to Garrison's siblings, seeking assistance in checking on him. The sequence of events encapsulates the heart-wrenching reality of grappling with mental health struggles within a family. Despite Janelle's efforts to intervene upon sensing her son's distress, tragedy unfolded swiftly and irreversibly. This narrative serves as a stark reminder of the importance of mental health awareness and support, particularly within familial contexts. It underscores the complexities of human emotions and the urgency of reaching out to loved ones in times of need. As Janelle navigates the aftermath of this devastating loss, her story serves as a poignant testament to the enduring bond of family amidst life's trials and tribulations. In the wake of this tragedy, may it serve as a catalyst for conversations surrounding mental health advocacy and the importance of seeking help when struggling. Garrison's roommates informed authorities that they heard a noise resembling a pop on Monday evening, the day before Garrison's brother arrived for a welfare check. However, they were unaware that it was the sound of a gunshot. Despite hearing the noise, none of the roommates checked on Garrison afterward. It wasn't until the morning of March 5 that Garrison's brother discovered him at home. According to TMZ, Garrison was found in possession of a handgun at the time he was discovered. Janelle Brown, in response to the news of her son's passing, issued a statement expressing deep sorrow. She and her husband, Cody, mourned the loss of their son, Robert Garrison Brown, describing him as a bright presence in the lives of those who knew him. The loss of Garrison has left a significant void in their lives, one that is profoundly felt. The family requested privacy during this difficult time and asked for support in honoring Garrison's memory. In summary, Garrison's roommates heard a noise the night before he was found, but did not investigate further. Garrison was discovered the next morning, and he was found with a handgun. Janelle Brown shared a heartfelt statement mourning the loss of her son and asked for privacy as they grieve and remember him.